Hey Whiskey Lovers, what's up? Today I'm going back to where it all began, Wild Turkey 101. And here it is here, my first bourbon love. Now before Wild Turkey 101, I was into whiskey, but it was this lovely pour here that first ignited my passion. And it's one that I keep coming back to whenever I possibly can. So, stay tuned to find out more. Greetings from the Emerald Isle, whiskey lovers. My name's Al, and this is Whiskey Street. What's up, whiskey lovers? Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Street. My name's Al, and let's talk whiskey. Today, the whiskey uh, I'm going to be talking about is Wild Turkey 101, and as you already know from the introduction, it's one that's very special to me. Now, before I really get into it, I just want to know what your thoughts are on wild turkey. Not just the 101, but wild turkey in general, you know. When you think about it, what comes into your head, what comes into your mind? And just sure, pop your comments down below and let's see what you think. For me, it's not just about it being my first bourbon love. It also brings thoughts of quality, of longevity and of tradition. And the highlight of that tradition uh, is in the form of well, that famous master distiller, Jimmy Russell. And he's been at the heart of wild turkey for over 60 years. And actually, as most of you will probably know, he's considered to be the master distiller of master distillers. And now with his son, Eddie, following in his footsteps, that long and proud tradition is set to continue for a long time to come. And when you think about it, they're actually the only father and son duo working together in the in the industry at the minute as master distillers. Let's take a closer look at the whiskey. Now as you can see here it's a very rich deep and dark colour and that's due to wild turkey using a number four char on their American white oak barrels. The wild turkey 101 is really the distillery's flagship bourbon. It's a high rye bourbon and it's renowned for its sort of rich, robust flavour. Uh, now it actually has a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% barley and 12% rye. It used to be aged at eight years and probably due to a combination of demand and diminishing resources. It's not edge dated anymore, but it's made up of six, seven and eight year old whiskies. Now, another point of note is that the bourbon is distilled at a low proof of 109. And this is said to actually help to seal in the flavors uh, during the maturation process. Now, the combination of the heavier char, the lower proof and the sealing in of those flavors it actually all comes together and creates a quite wonderful product. Welcome back folks. Now, let's see really what this is like on the nose and on the palate. So right off initially, when you're raising it to the nose, it's quite sweet and that sweetness is, is quite prominent even when you're coming up to the nose. And elements of that sweetness remain as it gets closer and the more you get into it, you can see that it's, there is a spiciness in there too. And it does give the impression that it really could pack a bit of a, a, bit of a punch on the palate. Although it's not overly fiery on the nose, but it does give that impression. Now there's vanilla and caramel coming in there as well, as along with some toasted oak. And it really is a nicely rounded, balanced nose with lots of nice richness going on there. Right, let's see how it fares in the pot. Now that spicy note that is there on the on the nose is definitely a lot more prominent here and up front on the palate but at the same time that prominence doesn't lead it to be overpowering in any way and right at the moment it's it's coating the mouth 
very very nicely and it's releasing an array of nice rich flavors what have we got here we've got charred oak there's butterscotch there's vanilla quite a lot going on and it's very rich now that spicy just now in that second sip it manifests itself with a nice touch of cinnamon but as it goes over the tongue it sweetens to there's a bit of orange zest comes in there and it, it adds to it really really nicely on the finish I would say it's probably medium rather than long but it is pretty robust it's full of rich flavors and on the back of the palate now i'm even getting a touch of creme brulee and some toffee like and when you actually think that this is essentially a bargain bourbon though obviously it does cost a wee bit more over here in the uk and ireland it's a pretty damn impressive product in my book it's rich it's full-bodied it does pack a fine punch you know what 101 proof and for me it really is a must-have you know it might maybe for the first time drinker it might be a wee bit too high in the proof and and give off a bit more of the spiciness and punch that you might prefer but i like the high proof but all in all despite that at the 101 it still is very rich still is very smooth and it's definitely one that i would urge you to try if you haven't already done it it's really phenomenally good whiskey for the price and for what you actually get here when you're considering other things at this price you know you're getting at 40 percent abv you know this is a 50.5 there's a lot going on you really do have to try it if you're in the uk or ireland and you haven't tried it it is a bit more difficult to get over here get yourself online you can see it on amazon or some of the other uh, online sites and it quite often is uh, on a bargain you know it could be the low to mid 20s it's usually if you see it in a shop or in general times it's in the mid 30s so thanks for watching folks don't forget to hit the like button there down below give me the old thumbs up there and while you're at it see the bell down there give it a ring so you can stay up to date with all things whiskey straight i'm going to try to change things up a wee bit because i'm still not quite happy with the format but i would really appreciate it too if you could pop in a few comments to let me know what you think about wild turkey in general about the 101 or even about bourbon in general but once again thanks for watching and until the next time may your troubles be less may your blessings be more and may nothing but happiness come through your door so until the next time my whiskey friends stay safe Slow down.